Hey, what's up you guys? Today, I gotta look down here. <laughs> Today, I'm going to do a get ready, me, ready with me for Valentine's Day. It is actually February 15th, so I hope those of you that celebrate on Valentine's Day like a normal person enjoyed your Valentine's Day. Drew and I, however, always celebrate our actual Valentine's Day dinner like going out for dinner on the day after Valentine's Day. So we always, just cause like the restaurants are so crazy and busy and things that it's just easier to go out the day after. Luckily it's a Saturday, so we're going to enjoy it a little bit more than we normally would. Last night we still uh, went out, we didn't go out. We worked out and then we went and brought food in and watched movies. So it was a little bit more of a special night than normally would be, but we are going to do a get ready with, I'm going to do a get ready with me to get ready to go out for dinner and a little bit of shopping. So I am thinking I'm going to wear this dress here. I got my belt that goes with it. I don't know what I'm gonna wear underneath it. It is a little bit chilly outside. It's like supposed to get up to like about 50 today. So I might be able to get away with just some boots, but we will see. I found one of my socks um, to go in my boots and I'm gonna have to look. My whole life is a mess right now. I have laundry like everywhere. So <sighs> I'm gonna go take a shower and I will catch up with you all in a moment. Okay, so I just got done with my shower. I have moisturized with this extra virgin coconut oil moisturizing cream that I got for all the areas I'm going to be stretching. I usually just apply it after the shower um, when I start noticing more growth and stretching then I'm going to definitely start adding it twice a day. Um, for my hair I use this it's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Plus Keratin. It's getting foggy in here sorry. <laughs> so I used that um on my hair i usually use that anytime my hair feels kind of dry i add some in my ends um my lips i put this hey honey shea butter and propolis i don't know what that is lip balm to get my lips hydrated and then for my face i have this belief true cream moisturizing balm i got both of these products in my ipsy and then this was a past ipsy product that i bought a full-size container of they had massive containers of it at sam's club so i bought some of that now i'm gonna go relax for a little bit i need to do my protein shake and turn on the fan in here <laughs> since you cannot see me at all um and then i'm gonna go relax for a little bit and then we'll get to makeup and dressing yay okay so i painted my nails they don't look fantastic <laughs> I'm not very good at being patient waiting for my nails to dry so but it felt good to do something I'm gonna go ahead and start by priming my face with this Bates bait base tape uh, primer from Tarte so I'm going to go ahead and start with that. So I'm going to go ahead and put that all over my face. Okay, so now my primer has set in. I had to put a ton on. My face is super dry. So I have the <laughs> very dirty NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop uh, foundation. A full coverage foundation in a matte finish in the shade of Vanilla. And I'm going to go ahead and spritz some of that on my hand. My puppy is going crazy outside so sorry if you can hear her i'm gonna spritz some of this on my hand and go ahead and get that all over my face okay so i went ahead and put on my uh concealers as well um i did this better skin superstar super stay better skin from maybelline i've been using this for quite a while um and it's oil free concealer corrector and I hear it actually like helps your uh, if you have any blemishes it helps them heal um, and then my other one is the Tarte um, Amazonian clay waterproof 12 hour concealer I have used this for a really long time in the color light sand I actually probably need to get this in a lighter color since when I originally bought this I was tan <laughs> um, so I do need to buy another one. Um, 
then I started doing my brows because my husband walked in. I was like, I'm going to do those off camera anyway. So I started doing those. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start working on my eye look. And I'm going to use my Controversy palette since they are my favorite. So I got the Mini con mini Controversy and the Conspiracy palette, which I'm using as a mirror. Um, I am going to start off with got some dust here um I'm going to put my pills which is the light pink color up here um on my as a base um it is a pinky color and I think it will go well with the dress that I am wearing um so I'm going to go ahead and start with that so I'm going to use one of my fluffy brushes here make sure it's cleaned off well I, it has some pigment left on it <laughs> literal pigment because the color is pigment that is on it I used this palette two weekends ago for my uh, for the Super Bowl when the Kansas City Chiefs which are my team uh, when the Kansas City Chiefs made the Super Bowl. So I did a red and yellow look using pigment and flaming hot. So I'm gonna put this, just dust it over my lid with my fluffy brush. And this will be the brush that I use to help um, blend out the look. I'm hoping that I can use a new color today as well. Um, I want it to be kind of a natural look, but I definitely wanna like dip into a little bit of color. Um, so I've got my pills, I'm putting it all over my lid. And this color is so crazy because it looks super, super light in the pan. But when you put it on, it is like really, really pink. And it's not just because I have like a little bit of the pigment left on, a <laughs> little bit of the pigment left on my brush. It always looks like this, even when I have a clean brush. So um, I think it will create a very good soft look. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that on and then I will move on to the next color. So next as a transition shade, I'm gonna take my little bit of fluffier brush, um, not as fluffy as the other one, but I'm gonna dip this into the shade pigment. So um, this guy right here, which I keep saying pigment and some of you probably don't know what I'm laughing about, but that is why. And I'm just gonna put him into my corner on either side and then I'm going to dust him out so I'm gonna make that kind of just like a base shade for my crease and I'm going to blend it out all the way around my eye to kind of enhance the pink uh, my pills that is underneath it So it creates a soft look, but has that pink um, transition. And I always use like a pink or an orange, even when I'm using like a natural, just cause it adds like a little touch of like, I don't know, it makes you look healthier in a way. I even did it for my wedding, which I use like an all natural color um, palette, but the adding like a little touch of pink or orange will help like brighten up the eye area a little bit make you a little bit alive bring the blood out in your cheeks so um, it's not like super like hey you have pink on your eyes it's more of a helps transition everything out and I'm just dipping a little bit into um, my pills and helping blend that out because I don't want it to be like super out there pop pop in your face kind of color um so I'm going to do that and now I'm going to dip in to Tanacon with a crease brush if I can find the correct one here uh, I'm going to use this skinny fluffy brush it has a little bit of pigment from my last look on it so I'll just dust it off real quick and I'm going to dip into Tanacon, which is a light brown shade. I'm tired of lifting up my palette, sorry. <laughs> I will show you all in just a minute. I'm just going to put that in my outer corner and start blending 
in to pigment with that brown and just slowly deepen it. I'm only going to go about halfway across my eye so it lines up with my pupil on either side. So I'm going to put that on there and then I'm going to blend it out. So for some reason some of my crease brushes aren't missing. So I'm going to dip into the shade Root Beer which is in both palettes. And I'm going to just do that on the outer corner and just go about a quarter of the way up and blend it. I'm just going to start adding depth to my eyes and then I will blend that pigment. pigment. I keep saying pigment. <laughs> I'm going to blend that shade over once I get it mostly into the outer corner and then I'm going to blend it out into the shade Tanacon and the pinky colors that are underneath it. So go ahead and do that to both sides. And as you can see, it's like the pink is kind of dulling out. So it's more of like a base shade to kind of bring everything together and brighten it up. So it's not so like that brown. <laughs> oh my gosh. And it's been such a long time since I've been able to like sit down and do makeup because A, I work and I've been work not working in the office a lot lately. I've been working down in the pool area as we've been short staffed. And uh, I don't wear makeup as much when I'm down there. And if I do, it's very light. Um, and then I don't really do a lot with my makeup during the day anyway. So the only time I ever do so is when we're going out. So I'm going to make sure those are blended out very well. And then I will catch up in a minute. Okay, so I had some dilemmas where I'm just like, I don't know what else I want to use. So I'm going to go ahead and finish with my crease real quick. Um, and just use some of the my reds here, which is a black color. And I'm going to use a thinner fluffy brush. I need to clean it off because it's red all over it. That red pigment is super like pigmented. I think it almost like dyed my eyelids when I used it. So I'm gonna clean that off. Just myself here. No cleavage. Did it just dab that into the corner of my eye. I don't want it to be like super black. It is still light out. Um, we are going to shop around a little bit and I don't want to look like I'm going to a nightclub or anything. I'm just blend that out. Oh, I should use the other fluffy brush. It's a little bit smaller. I'm blend that out. I just wanted to add a little bit more depth to the corner on both sides so it's not too like out there so I'm gonna go ahead and get some color onto these lids okay so I'm gonna try something different <laughs> and I'm sitting there like I don't know if I really want to do it but I just tried it on the other eye and I think I like it because it's not as pigmented as I thought it was going to be so I took the color what's the tea it's kind of a uh, it's a matte teal color and I'm just going to make kind of a halo effect around my eye um, with that so and it looks really really nice with the the my pills color and the pigment color and it's very very similar to the um, colors on my dress and then I'm going to take just a theory and put it into the center of my eye and I sat there and I played with different colors on my hand <laughs> trying to figure out like how I wanted to do it and just a theory is kind of a gold color so I think it will look really well good with what I have so I'm gonna go ahead and get these on my eyelid and blend out into these other colors so it's not just like wham Okay, so I spritzed some of my, oh my gosh, where'd it go? My NYX um, matte finish 
and it blended in the colors together and then I applied more of what's the tea in my pills over the top of my eyelid and now I'm going to go ahead and add the shimmer I'm gonna just use this really really flat brush um, and then I'm gonna spritz it and get just a theory which I told you was the gold color and I'm going to put it in the center of my eye and blend it into that greeny color. So, and I just love these shades. It's so pretty. Beautiful. So I will get the other. Okay, so I finished adding the glitter I added ranch to the inner corner of my eye which is the white and then I did some of the pigment and some of the what's the tea underneath my eye it's kind of made this really cool effect and then I added a little bit of eyeliner and I'm going to do mascara after I finish the rest of my face so I'm going to go ahead and contour really quick using my little NYX three step sculpt palette so I gotta find my contour brush. Don't know where it is. Did I not grab one? That could be very much so. I'm just gonna grab this. This is good enough. I'm just gonna dab a little bit in there and then I'll grab my controversy palette. And just ooh super pigmented on my face right now. Let's see if I can blend it out. It's not as pigmented on the other side of my face, which is always freaking weird when that happens. It's not a brush I normally use for this, but I don't have my other brush. I don't know where it is. I could just get up and get it, but that might take longer. Anyone else the same way? Cause me. Oh my god, you are so pigmented right now. Blend out. My kabuki will flip, blend it out a little bit. All right, I'm gonna take some of the lighter shade and just go under my eyes just to help blend everything. Get away any dustings that messed up the rest of my face. We go down my nose, forehead, chin. I'm using the same brush because why not? I normally wouldn't. This is normally the brush I use for highlighting. See if I can blend that out. There it goes. My face is so uneven. This brush is falling apart too. There it goes. It kind of blended in. I'm like more talking to myself than the camera. <laughs> it's fine. Take some of that in. Uh, it's a, some of the darker color and I'm going to just halo up my face a little bit like I have different terms for everything I think that's actually a term for what I'm doing but who knows I don't want to be like super dark because I'm not let's go down the sides of my nose under my nose, under the chin, oh my gosh, I cannot get this pulled out, oh. I did use a setting powder, it shouldn't be this bad, just make the side darker, and then I'll just be a vampire, that's fine. 
me my floppy brush. Maybe this will work. Oh, that helps. A little bit. Okay. Let's go ahead and get some blush on. Finish up this look so we can get moving. I want to get out of here soon. It's already 3.30 about and I want to be gone. So I'm going to use this Tarte blush in the shade Blissful. I can't always get this one to work so we'll see. hopefully it gets some pigment on there. I've been having issues with the shade. My last Tarte blush worked really well and then this one just stinks. So I think it's the shade. There it goes. So it's kind of getting some pigment out there. I thought I grabbed my good one. I guess not. And sometimes it takes a while when they're new. I just like want a blush. Is that a problem? There we go. And now I'm going to put some highlighter on after I spritz my face. Oh, it feels so good. I'm hot. Um, where is my, there it is. I found my contour brush. <laughs> oh, fine. Um, this shade, I've talked about this in my favorites. It's from Nomad. It's in the shade Kiss of Sun, or it's the Kiss of Sun highlighter. Um, don't know what shade it is. I'm gonna take my little highlight brush here and get it on my cheeks. This stuff is super strong. It has like a pinky tint to it. I really probably didn't need to spritz my face before I put it on there, but I did. So. Beautiful. Just gonna have a massive highlight. And it really like blends well with my eye makeup. Alright, I gotta quickly go over my brows with my brow gel that has disappeared. There it is. It is NYX Tinted Brow Mascara. I'm rushing now. And I'm just gonna brush this through my brows, make them visible with this crazy makeup look. Boop, 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 boop. And mascara. I'm trying a new mascara today. I got it in my Ipsy. It is uh, Douche? No idea. Bombastic Lash Volume Mascara. I can't read it. I'm going blind. Ooh, I like the mascara wand. I always like these thick, like, long ones. Let's see how you work. Not bad. Get to see the lashes. I hope I don't like cry it all off. My eyes, every time I put mascara on lately, have just uh, cried it all off. So I do like it. It looks really nice. Um, it's too early in the day for me to do uh, falsies. And I usually only do them for like special occasions since I'm old. Not saying old people can't wear falsies. I just prefer not to on just normal days. It's not really a normal day. It's a special occasion, but like weddings. That's the kind of occasion I'm talking about. Special family events where I need to look like I'm 15 and not 30. So I'll get that on both sides real quick. It looks really nice. The formula seems to be working with my eyes. We will see 
if that holds true. I think I've got it on well enough. Um, I have a new lipstick I'm going to put on. I don't know if this will last very long, so we're gonna go ahead and put it on, and then I'm going to get ready. And it's like a light pink color. Don't know what brand it is. I just got it in the Ipsy yesterday, and I was like, oh great, I can wear this tomorrow. This is the perfect color pink. Someone must have known what I'm wearing today. Perfect. It's not like super out there either, which is just what I needed. Great. All right. I am going to go change and we'll see. Oh yeah. <laughs> Here's the final look. I'm trying to look at the camera and I keep looking at my thing. So there's the final makeup look. Let me go ahead and get ready and we can see everything all together. Okay, so here is my final look. I gotta get used to looking here and not here. And I have my dress. I got this from Charming Charlie. Rest in peace. Um, belt I got with an outfit and it just goes with everything. I don't remember what outfit a long time ago. These pants I got from Old Navy. Yes, I'm wearing pants because it is Kansas and it is 50 something degrees and it's going to get colder later. Um, it was 15 and 12 and a wind chill of like negative something the past two days. So I don't trust it. And then I have these cute brown boots. And I'm going to go ahead and spritz myself with some of this. And we're going to get on with the road. So here we go. I forgot to close the vlog out. Ooh, messy. Okay, that's better, kind of. <laughs> I forgot to close this vlog out and I hope you all enjoyed seeing me get ready for Valentine's Day. And I hope you all out there had a wonderful Valentine's Day. Even those of you that did not necessarily get to special celebrate with a special someone or maybe your someone is off training in the military or something. But I hope you enjoyed it. I know I was alone on Valentine's Day last year and it was very memorable for me just because it's the first time I ever like was completely alone on Valentine's Day. And I just remember how I celebrated it and how much I enjoyed kind of just taking care of myself. So no matter what you did on Valentine's Day, I hope you all had a great one. Uh, please like and subscribe to continue following our journey. I should have some exciting videos coming up with um, baby updates and other military and non-military related things. So I will see you all next time.